Free flight checklist version 1.0 for Gemini version 2, Mark KSC, ZA. 1. Ground station, video receiver battery voltage check. 2. Ground station, power the video receiver on. 3. Ground station, lock down the video receiver antenna tripod in wanted position. 4. Ground station, computer on. 5. Radio control, check that the battery indicator is above 7 volt. 6.5 volt is the low alarm level. 6. Radio control, check that the UHF antenna is properly fastened to the radio controller. 7. Radio control, verify and correct switch positions if required. 8. Radio control, UHF transmitter to high power. 9. Radio control, throttle down. 10. UAV, insert airspeed P to cover in place. 11. UAV, power on the GoPro camera and the gimbal. 12. UAV, connect all aircraft batteries. 13. Ground station, computer, check that mains power are connected. 14. Ground station, computer, start mission planner. 15. Ground station, in mission planner, connect Mavlink, and wait for telemetry connection. 16. Ground station, in mission planner, upload mission, with verify terrain follow selected. 17. Ground station, in mission planner, read the mission back from the PixHawk controller to the PC. 18. Ground station, in mission planner, verify that the mission read back from the PixHawk controller to the PC, is correct. 19. UAV, wait for GPS lock, indicated with a solid green LED on top of the fuselage. 20. UAV, arm the PixHawk controller. 21. Ground station, in mission planner, verify good Mavlink connection, 99% link percentage, or more. 22. Ground station, on video monitor, verify receiver signal strength indicator, is 99%, or more. 23. Radio control, operate video source switch. Check video in all three positions. Front camera operation, gimbal camera operation, and rear camera operation. 24. Ground station, on video monitor, verify good airspeed data on the OSD, 0 to 4 or 5, is OK. 25. Radio control, switch, SD, gimbal mode switch to lower pan mode. 26. Radio control, adjust the gimbal sliders to center, or slightly down. 27. Radio control, set the gimbal to the lens protect position. 28. Radio control, set the video source switch to select the front camera. 29. Ground station, on video monitor, verify that front camera is operating. 30. UAV, disarm the PixHawk controller. 31. UAV, CG check. 32. UAV, check that both propellers are free for any damage. 33. UAV, check that both propellers are properly fastened and secure. 34. Ground station, mission planner. After aircraft batteries have been connected, wait one minute or longer, then perform pre-flight calibration in Mission Planner. Onboard sensors are warming up. 35. UAV, inspect that the nose gear wheel and the main landing gear wheels are all okay and that all wheels are free running. 36. UAV, remove airspeed peated cover. 37. 
UAV arm the Pixhawk controller. 38. Radio control verify switch SF in manual mode position. 39. Radio control set the rotary 6 position switch S3 to fully counterclockwise position. Auto mode is now standby. 40. Radio control, verify that all UAV control surfaces are working. Ailerons. Rudder. Elevator. Air brakes. 41. Radio control, verify proper nose gear response to rudder control. 42. Radio control, perform run-up with ESC calibration, by throttling up two times from idle to full. 43. Ground station, in mission planner, verify the current draw, should be at least 80 ampere at full throttle. 44. Ground station, on video monitor, verify that the telemetry overlay data is changing, and that the OSD is not hanging. 45. UAV, verify that both propellers stop at the same time. Motors and bearings are then okay. 46. UAV, start GoPro recording. Pre-flight checklist done. You are clear to take off. Have a nice flight.